For number 19, we are given a function f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. And we are given two formulas. We just need to do one of them. Okay, but on the video, I will show you both of them. So let's get to work. I will do this one first. So on the test, you can just do one and that's it. You don't need to show, uh, show both. And doesn't matter what you, doesn't matter which one you pick, I think they are about equally difficult. <laughs> or equally easy, if you want to think about it that way. Anyways, here we go. Let me write down the function. f of x, we know this is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. So on the first one, what I need to know is, I need to know what's f of x plus h. Right, so if I just cover everything else, I need to find out what's f of x plus h first. This is my function. So I will do that first. So I will um, do, uh, do this question by small parts. f of x plus h. This means you want to plug in this red x plus h into all the x of the original function. So I have this f of x plus h that will be equal to I see the 2, I see the x, so I'll put a parentheses, and then I'm going to put x plus h into the parentheses. And then have square. And then plus 3. I see the x, so I'll put parentheses. Inside, I will put x plus h. x plus h. And then minus 4. And let's see how do we simplify this. How do we do some uh, calculations to combine like terms, things like that. Okay, uh, I think we have to first work with the square right here, right? x plus h square. So to do that, I will do it on the side. So for this one, x plus h to the second power, this means you write down x plus h twice. And then you are going to distribute. So x times x, we get x squared. And then x times h, we get plus x times h. h times x, let me write x first, plus x, h. And then h times h, we get plus h squared. So for this, I can combine in terms of the middle part. I have x plus, I have x and h, x, h. Two of them, so I have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. You can use a formula, but I would you know, just like to show you guys like uh, the actual um, expanding it. Okay. So let me bring this back to here. I have the 2 in the front, so let me write down the 2. But this right here, right, becomes x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And let me write this better for you guys. plus h squared, like that. Okay, next, we have the 3 in front of the parentheses, so we'll have to take the 3 and then multiply with the x, so I get plus 3x. And then take the 3, multiply with the h, we get plus 3h. At the end, I have the minus 4, so minus 4. I'll just write down the minus 4. So earlier, right here, 2 times x plus h squared, we did the exponent first, right? That's the order of operation. And then we got this. Now we have to multiply the 2 into the inside. Okay, so take the 2 and then distribute with the um, x to the second power. We get 2x squared. Take the 2, multiply with 2xh. So that will be a total of 4xh. And that's 2 times positive x h squared, so we get plus 2h squared. And then the rest right here stays the same. So I have plus 3x plus 3h and then minus 4. And let me see if there's anything that we can combine in terms. Um, the 2x squared, there's nothing else that has a 2x, there's nothing else that has x squared, right? And then 4xh, and that's it, right? There's not nothing else that has x xh term. h squared is again by itself. The x is by itself. The h is by itself. 
the force by itself. So that's it. So there's nothing that we can come by like terms. So all this is the result of f of x plus h. We are not done yet. So take a look of the original formula. We just did f of x plus h. We want to subtract f of x and then all together divide by h. Okay? So I'll write this down. So we need to do um, f of x plus h. I need to subtract f of x and then everything divide by h. So this is what we need to do. And this is what we need to do. Earlier it's just like the prep work for this. So the, as you can see the first part, f of x plus h, we did that which is this long equation right here. Let me write down this expression right here. Uh, let me just copy this down for f of x plus h. So I get 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 3h minus 4. Okay? And then I have to subtract. So all this is just f of x plus h. I need to subtract f of x. And f of x is this. So let me put that right here. 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. Altogether, everything on the top divide by h on the bottom. So let's see what can we do with this. So we have two parentheses. The first one doesn't really matter, so I can just write this down again. 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus 3x plus 3h minus 4. But for the second one, I have a subtraction in the front of the parentheses. I need to take the subtraction and distribute it inside. So I, I actually get, and let me write this in red on purpose, minus 2x squared, and then take the subtraction to take the negative, distribute it inside. Negative times the positive becomes negative 3x, so we we'll subtract 3x, and then this times the negative 4 becomes plus 4. Everything over h. Okay, next, that's c. Hopefully there's something on the top that we can, well, we can cancel. And there it is. Notice that we have the 2x squared and the negative 2x squared right here. They cancel out to be 0, so they are gone. And then what else do we have? I have the negative 3x right here, and then I have the positive 3x right here. So again, together, they cancel out to be 0. Let me cross out twice. Okay, so two different things, right? I mean, two different terms, so that's why I want to use the two different symbols for it. I have the minus 4 plus 4, so I can get rid of this as well. So I can do like, right, because they become 0. I put a cross next to it. So, so all this pretty much all cancelled out. Now we have on the top 4xh plus 2h squared plus 3h. Everything divided by h. Now what? Notice that on the top, they all have an h in common. Right? They all have an h in common. There are two ways to do it. You can factor out an h on the top and then cancel this out. And um, I think I will do that. So on the top, I'm going to factor out the h. So I have a 4x left for the first term, plus um, I have 2h squared originally, I took 1 out, so I get just 2h inside, 2 times 1h inside, right? because h squared, I took 1 of the h out already. Originally, I have plus 3h, but the h is out already, so plus 3. Everything over h. Now, because h times this, right, they are multiplying h times this parentheses over h. I can cancel out this 2h, so they cancel out to be 1. So altogether, I get 4x plus 2h plus 3 for the answer. Okay, and um, 
let me show you guys the way that I was talking about the, uh, the other way that I was talking about to simplify this. So if I cover all this up, okay? So another way to look at this is that on the top, notice that we have three terms. On the bottom, I only have an h. So I can actually do this as well. I can write 4xh over h plus 2h squared over h plus 3h on the top over h. Notice that they are all the same denominator. I'm pretty much just split the fraction into three different fractions. And uh, um, this all together, the advantage, the advantage of this is that you can just cancel things out individually. So simplify the first fraction, 4xh over h. This 2h cancel out, so you get 4x. 2h squared over h. This, one, this h can cancel out one of the h on the top, so I have 1. So I have just a 2 times h to the first power, plus 2h. 3h originally over h, the h cancel out exactly, so I get plus 3. So depends on how you like it, depends if you like to just take out an h on the top and then cancel out this h on the outside and this h on the denominator, and then you get the result. Or you can just write this as three different fractions, but with the same denominator, and then just cancel them out individually. We still end up with the same answer. Same correct answer. Okay, and then I will do uh, the other formula in the next video.